I just wanted to check in really quickly. Today is Monday, January 25th, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things. So if you guys are seeing this, it's probably because I am pregnant and I really, really hope that that's the reason. Um, I am like, if I don't like, if nothing happens before this Friday, I can take a pregnancy test and find out probably if I really am or if I'm really not. So fingers crossed. I think I'm gonna test like two days early though because my husband leaves for a five day trip on Wednesday and I'm due on Friday. So I figured, you know what, we might as well see. I don't know. Um, but I did have a miscarriage in November. I had my The day I had a miscarriage was November 6th and it was like such an awful experience and I've kind of been symptom spotting a little. So fingers crossed that I can go on to have like a normal pregnancy and not have to worry about anything, miscarriage, nothing, I'm really hoping. But in about two days, we'll know if I'm really pregnant. Curiosity at the best of me and I took a digital today and I was shocked, I came up pregnant update you so i had the ultrasound i was super nervous um especially because like i felt like i was super nauseous in the beginning of my pregnancy and now it just comes in waves like i don't have it every day i feel pretty good like other than like my chest being a little sore i kind of forget that i even am pregnant other than like cravings and stuff and like other little symptoms like you guys will see my four to six weeks like six to you know or seven to nine week update so like i definitely have symptoms but day to day it's nothing too crazy and um, it was good to see that they were able to locate the baby, the gestational sac, a heartbeat. Um, I am measuring a little off and they said as long as you're within four days anyways, it's not a big deal. Let's see if you guys can see. They don't print out the, the ultrasounds, but they do let you like get it on your phone. So I don't know if you guys can see. if you can really see like it's very hard to see but there's the baby i um i'm just gonna let you guys know that the baby's good everything's good my first appointment went good i'm gonna go back at nine weeks just hi you guys today is tuesday february 23rd um i'm just checking in because i was doing little pregnancy vlogs again this time and i'm having a miscarriage second one in four months i just had to go home and just go to the doctor in the morning and see if there was a heartbeat. So I got out of the hospital at like 1.45, got home, slept until like I overslept. My alarm never went off, so I woke up like at 8 when I was supposed to be at the doctor, like ran to the doctor, and um, there was no heartbeat by the morning. So they were able to figure things out, and I'm scheduled for a DNC tomorrow morning at 9.30. I have to be there at 9.30. The procedure starts at 11.30. And tomorrow's my dad's birthday. Like, the timing of it all. Um, I just had a DNC November 6th of 2020, which was literally just a couple months ago. I wanted to give you guys an update. Hopefully, if you see this, it's because I'm having a viable pregnancy one day. Um, I know it's not uncommon for women to have, like, two miscarriages in a row. I really don't want to have a third. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't just a lot. And I just, I can't even believe I had a second. Like, I can't fathom that. I don't know anyone who's had two miscarriages in a row. I don't know a single person. So, I'm sure it's common. People just don't talk about it. Um, nobody would know that I was going through this right now. They won't know until, you know, they see this. But hopefully this is because you guys are seeing this because I am having a viable pregnancy and it's a hopeful story for you but in the meantime lord please give me a break okay so we have a first response digital and then we also have clear blue digital i'm not expecting anything out of either of them but i do think like it's the start of a line but crazier things have happened and this is my friend melissa <laughs> holding my pee sticks and she for. does this with me all the time <laughs> so here was my first oh, one i ever yeah. took yeah it's like literally fainter than this oh my god more faint, fainter i don't know do you know how far before period that was let's see if i can see a date on this 
I remember because when we tested, it would have been like a week before my yeah. period was due. Really? Yeah, almost like a week. Why did you, did you take a digital at all? Uh, okay, here we have the progression. I'm like kind of nervous right now because I think it's going to be negative. I'm almost 100 positive. It's going to be negative and I just tell myself that. Because tomorrow I'll take one and it could be positive. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that one's almost stronger than this one. a pinker or something yeah but this one's also like right old from this morning that's like from it this might morning. have faded a little that one's from right now i'm so nervous i need to like sit down and i want to look well, i think these look like the beginning of a positive test yeah but we would have to test like in a couple more days to see yeah for sure obviously like a darker but line like, once i tested yesterday it was so negative like isn't that weird it was like what made you want to test again today then? Because I thought my period was due. Like I can show you. Oh my god, the clear blue is gonna be done in a second. I don't even want to look. I will. <laughs> you did it to no. me. No. Still loading. What? They're like rising. Maybe they're rising. I don't. Can know. I breathe? Oh, look it! <laughs> the start of something. Yay! I'm so excited! It's a Christmas miracle. A Christmas miracle. <laughs> I have to go get something for Marco. Like just like a little because I never told him in a cute way. And are you I, gonna wait? Or are you gonna just tell him right now? I have to tell him because yeah. I have to go to the fertility clinic this week. Oh, yeah. And it's in like Amherst, and there's no way I'm gonna be able to hide it from him. I bet there's stuff at Party City. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, uh, I saw this really disgusting thing where someone put it in their ice cream and like, oh their my god! Yes. And they're like, "This is your pee stick." Like he was happy, but plus this, I like, thought you were fucking with me, especially because you looked at it a second time. Well, because I wanted to make sure I was like, we were like, because remember was like, when what? we did the fake one before we covered the knot? Like you're just joking around with somebody. You just told me I was pregnant. Oh, you're like me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're right. You're right. And I promised you this moment. Fuck those ones. Those are annoying. These were both <laughs> clear. Can you see it? You said fuck those ones. Look at that's a nice picture. Yeah, that is a nice picture. Look at there's a thumbnail. Yeah. Not me. Hers. <laughs> Do you want to take one? <laughs> Melissa, it's six months pregnant. Going into her yeah. seventh. Mm -hmm. Going into her seventh month. She's due. And wait, we didn't even tell them the date. Today is Saturday, December fourth. Okay. Wow. Yeah! I'm so excited. Oh. I really, honest to God, was not expecting this one to say pregnant though. No, I because neither. it's so that so early but like because these are faint i yeah. was thinking it would be too early for a digital but when this one showed pink like that like this these are always negative the cheaper first response knockoffs let's see i can't believe that i'm actually in shock because your hcg has to be like 25 or more i think for this to show up god just wanted you to have a leo <laughs> august baby you like i'm excited shock. yes i'm just excited for you Oh, I can't believe it. Both of them. Well, I'll show you a picture of them. Okay. I know, because you, did I you don't tell know. them you're supposed to be going to the fertility doctor? To oh, be no. Like, I haven't said anything about oh. No, no, no. <laughs> good. I, I said I was going to do it. Yeah. I went to the fertility doctor on Wednesday because it's this is my ninth cycle and nothing's happened. I've been taking ovulation tests and so I went to see him and he was going to send us for all this blood work and everything. And he, I still have to get blood work and I have to have like an ultrasound at five weeks because of something, but he's gonna monitor me 
from eight to nine weeks, he said, if I did turn up pregnant. So I have to call them today because they're open seven days a week. Oh my God. So they'll send me for blood work just to make sure that like everything's progressing. Yeah. And then I'll go in for an ultrasound probably like next week at this time. But they were gonna start me on Clomid or Letrozole. No twins! <laughs> there is like, uh, uh, this makes me think like, this baby's got strong HCG though. <laughs> yeah, you could still be having two in there. I, know. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'm shaking. I felt more like that with you than I do right now because I think I'm just in shock. That's how I was with you. You were more excited than <laughs> I was when I found out I was pregnant. You were like, oh my god, I was like, ah. we, I think we both thought these were gonna say no. <laughs> we did, let's be honest. Well, because it's they're digital. Yeah. So I thought, okay. Well, I don't I just spent $60 on pregnancy tests and all I needed to buy was one. Because I was like, oh, it's the, they're gonna be negative today, I'll take them tomorrow and the next day. So I was like, well, I'll take three every well, day. Well, now you know with the digital, you don't have to take any more. Yeah, I don't have to take any more. And I get blood work, so that'll make me feel better. I, I can't believe it. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday. Oh, yes, Thursday, December 9th. And I wanted to give a little update in my vlog. I'm in my laundry room, so it's not like the coolest area or the prettiest area to vlog, but... I was waiting on a call from the fertility doctor and I got a blood draw this morning so that they could measure and make sure that my HCG was where they want it to be. Since I'm 16 DPO, they wanted me to be 100 or higher and I'm 185, so that's a good sign. I have to go back Monday at 7.30 in the morning and make sure that it's rising. They're also gonna check my progesterone because I'm on progesterone supplements morning and night. I haven't felt much. I'll sit down and give like an updated symptoms, uh, you know, an updated symptoms of what I'm feeling, but I wanted to give you guys a little update because I was waiting for that call. I went at 7.05 this morning. It's about like a 25, 30 minute drive. They give me the option to go to like a quest, um, but I just choose to go right to their office because there's, they get me in and out. Um, Quest usually takes a little bit longer and I've had issues with Quest not sending like results when I've needed them So I'm really happy with the results. It did. I haven't been anxious this whole time surprisingly But I did, it did instill like a little bit of anxiety in me and I don't know why I think it's just like always scary I just think as you go through this stuff, it's just it's definitely just scary. So I'm just happy that's good news and I just want to take a deep breath and relax for the weekend and go back Monday. I think Monday I'm going to be more nervous because it's going to either be rising or falling. Um, but we'll see. So that's my little update. Good news today. Hi you guys. Uh, today is Monday, December 13th. It's 7.53. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. I just went for my second blood draw, which is very exciting. They are testing for the progesterone because I'm on the supplement twice a day, which I'm like, it's driving me crazy being on that supplement. But I I'm thankful that I can even have it because it's very expensive and I just need to be like thankful. So that's where I, I'm like staying. But um, they're testing my progesterone. They're making sure that my HCG doubles. I guess I think I would be like 20 DPO today. So they tested it last Thursday when I was 16 DPO and now 20 DPO. So it has to be above a certain number. What's really good about coming directly to the infertility and IVF place is that um, if you get it done before like 9 30 in the morning, they end up having uh, your results in before 4 30. And on Thursday, they called me at um, they called me at 2 30. So I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. So I I just I wasn't as nervous on Thursday. I was just like, okay, hopefully it's over 100 because that's what they wanted my HCG to be at, and it was 185, so that was good. I do feel like it's rising because I feel nauseous for the first time this whole time today. So that's a good sign. The only thing that kind of got in my head over was like my chest wasn't as sore as it was um, this weekend. So I was like, oh no, are my symptoms going? Because with my second miscarriage, like I knew like my symptoms just went away one day and then I had like the miscarriage symptoms kick in. So I don't know, but it's all very nerve-wracking but it was pretty cool because the phlebotomist was actually one of the guys that I had when I was uh, 
getting my blood work done at, what's it called? When I was getting my blood work done at Quest back when I had my first pregnancy because I made it to the point where you get that like nine week blood work and it's like eight or nine vials of two, like vials of blood and he did it that first time and I was talking to him because he was asking me about my pregnancy and he was asking me how it was going and I was telling him that I was having complications and I was like praying that everything worked out and he's like, you know, we were talking and I updated him on everything and so he's hoping and he's praying. So all the prayers I can get, I will take. I'm just hoping that this all works out. So that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Let's hope that the HCG and the progesterone is good. Fingers crossed. Okay, hi you guys. It is, let's see, 4.32. I'm about to leave work. And I just wanted to update you guys really quick because I got my H. CG results. I always want to say HSG because I had that HSG test, but I had my HCG results come back, which I was really nervous about because Thursday they were 185, which was above what they wanted them to be, but I don't know. It was only like 85 points above what they wanted it to be, and that was when I was 16 DPO. And now they are, um, when I went this morning at 7.30, they came back at 1,519. So they said that that's really good. It's a little bit on the higher side, but still very good. That's at 20 DPL. My progesterone was right on point, and so was my thyroid. They did all those tests and that blood work. So really good news, and I'm really excited. So I just wanted to update you guys really quick. I feel like I can breathe. And I have my first sonogram on Thursday morning. So I'm excited. They started talking to me about, you know, which hospital I want to deliver at and where, like, what doctor I'm going to go to when they graduate me and all that stuff. So it's definitely an exciting. Hi, you guys. Today is Thursday, December 16th, and I'm outside the doctor's office. It's like 8.15. My appointment is not till 8.30, but I wanted to get here nice and early because this place is like a good, a solid 25 to 30 minutes from my house. And when it's like early in the morning, there's tons of traffic. Luckily, I didn't get any traffic. So I uh, got here nice and early. I'm gonna go in there and sign in and get my first ultrasound. I'm so nervous. Um, they've been taking my blood, so that's been rising great. So they said as long as my blood was rising good that they would just see me for an ultrasound. So, sorry, I'm looking for my mask. So I'm gonna head in there. I should be five, I'm five weeks, five days today based on my last period. I turn over every Saturday, but because of me ovulating late, I could be like two to four days behind because I ovulated later. So we will see. Um, I'm gonna take a couple times because I've been feeling horrible in the morning, which is something I didn't experience my last pregnancy. I'm starting to get all the fun, like acid reflux and everything as I'm getting into this fifth week. But prior to this, I've never experienced this. So hopefully this is a good sign, but I will check in with you guys later. Hi you guys. So. I just had my ultrasound, one baby, perfectly, they said perfectly placed and that like the lining looks really good and she like gave me a couple things that I would call her in case like, you know, you have this, this or that, like common miscarriage symptoms, which I'm like, you know, been there, done that, but uh, she was just giving me the list and she said that she doesn't have any reason to think that I would have that though, which was really refreshing. This was like the first time that like I've ever went into an ultrasound and had really good news and like left not feeling like something bad was going to happen. So I'm, um, I'm very excited. She said there's no reason to think that anything bad is going to happen this time and that everything looks really good. The lining looks really good. You can see the gestational sac and the yolk sac, which is perfect. Um, instead, I'm measuring five weeks, one day. So exactly four days behind because I ovulated like four days late than like the average person. So my estimated due date is August 17th. So I'm thinking like end of August, I'll probably be giving birth. Because I know, like they say, your first pregnancy, you never give birth on time usually. So 
I love the end of August. I think it's such a nice time. And I'm just very excited and I really, really hope that this works out. I'm very excited and I'm just counting my blessings and I hope that this works out. Do go back December 30th, so the day before New Year's Eve, which will be, I should be seven weeks one day and they said they'll just check for the baby, the heartbeat, and then they'll graduate me from here. And I'm just so happy that I came to this place. Honestly, it was the best decision I've ever made, ever. So I'm really glad things happened really quickly, really fastly, and now I'm pregnant with what seems to be a healthy pregnancy. So I'll go back the day before New Year's Eve. Let's hope for some good news to end out 2021. And I'm just really excited. Mm -hmm.